What's up YouTube? I'm Dallas and let me tell you a little backstory about this airplane. A couple of years ago, I decided I wanted to fly. I was going to do what it took. I wanted to learn and I wanted to fly. We bought a plane and you can kind of see it. This is the plane right here and took it flying. So the last time I went flying, I charged all my batteries the night before. Everything should have been good. Went out and my transmitter battery completely died in the air. Completely lost control. The plane was upside down, full pinned, and completely cratered into the dirt. So it's destroyed. And you can kind of see it. It's 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 ruined. So my plan was to completely build a new plane from scratch using all the same components as the original plane. I did get a new transmitter and receiver because I wasn't going to go through that shit again. And I also wanted to do a gas motor on it because gassers are cool, they're loud, they spit oil, they make a mess, but they're nostalgic, you know, they're real. So that's kind of the story. Obviously, I already did it because the plane's sitting here. So, without further ado, here is the build video. So a little tip when you're building it by hand like me, you need to go in and, and make these these cut lines. You can see like the prints, you know, they got these lines. You cut all the way down, those just the first layer. Do the paper and the foam, but not the paper on bottom. And it makes it so you can fold it, but you'll see that. Little tip. Okay, and then you split it. And you're gonna fold it 180 degrees all the way around. So this is what you're going for. Down your wing, I'm gonna just kinda lightly fold it. This is gonna give the angle of your airfoil.
We're going to cut that out for our tail. Go for a test fit. Just want to make sure that it's level. Back it was so here she is. Didn't survive too good. So there's not much left of this, but I'm going to use all the parts and build my new plane. like a glove. Shit. Port mission. Damn it. The wire got stuck when I was installing it. So we're gonna try that again. Got both servos in for the back. With enough glue, anything could be strong, right? So I'm gonna measure these and, and it's not even on. Exactly. Oh, six.
Couple of motor mounts right there. Check with this one, right about the same. Nice. So last night I had a few beers and uh, decided to work on my plant. Considering did pretty good. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to look in the morning when I came out and realized that I was working on it last night. But I did the gear and I got it pretty well glued in there. I got um, these plates on the side with two tabs on the gear to keep it from you know moving back and forth. And it spanned out quite a bit. It's pretty strong. I also um, supported the motor in here. I did, I already had the motor mounts that I built and then I did this wood plate that's notched out on each side to kind of close on to the two motor mounts and then that goes like down the length of the fuselage that's 
glued in and uh, keeps the motor pretty strong. Only got a little bit left and we're ready to go fly it. Yeah. Are you just hand propping it? Yeah. Here look, I got that set thing with the throttle. Okay, so this is just the build video on this plane. I'm gonna go do its maiden flight right now. Leave anything in the comments you want, anything. I will read every single comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, did you like this plane? What would you done different? You know, anything, anything you wanna say. And I'll catch you in the next video.